Hi, I am Yang Wun Kwak, audio application engineer at Texas Instruments. PCB layout is critical to ensuring a reliable and robust performance in audio amplifiers. Although nothing can replace the value of design experience, there are some simple steps you can take to improve your PCB layout. Today, I'm using the TPA3100D2 EVM for this example. The TPA3100D2 is a 2 times 20 watts audio amplifier. When designing the PCB, the first thing you should do is review the device footprint in the datasheet. The TPA3100D2 is a 48-pin PHP with power pad. The footprint also shows the proper dimensions and spacing for thermal vias, which are critical for thermal dissipation. In power pad devices, ground planes act as heat sinks. Note that heat dissipates radially. Ensure as much ground plane as possible in the radial direction and use bottom traces near the IC in the radial direction. It is always a good idea to ensure separate current paths for the low voltage, low current, and low frequency inputs, as well as the high voltage, high current, and high frequency outputs. This facilitates optimal noise and distortion performance. Be sure to place decoupling capacitors as close as possible to the power supply pins to minimize trace impedances and inductances. If more than one type of capacitor is needed, place the smallest value capacitors near to the VCC pins. In this scope measurement, we see that the output overshoot voltage is almost 30 volts when the decoupling capacitors are placed far away. Such high overshoot voltages might damage our devices. When the decoupling capacitors are placed close to the VCC pins, the overshoot voltage is significantly reduced all the way down to 19 volts. Since we have high frequency switching before the EMC filters and low frequency audio signals after the EMC filters, we should place output filters and snubbers as close as possible to the output pins and ensure short current return paths to achieve optimal EMC performance. Using the EMC chamber, we measured the TPA3100D2 EVM with the EMC filters both near and far away from output pins. With proper placement of EMC filters, we significantly reduce the EMC of the amplifier. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to visit TI's E2E online community where you can view other videos, ask questions, and share your knowledge. Thank you for your time.